All right, here we go. This is part two of Draw My Life. There's only two parts, so make sure you watch the first one real quick, okay? You really kind of got to watch both. It'll be worth it. Links are in the description below. But anyway, this one is about how I ended up actually becoming a YouTuber. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm L, And this is not the kind of videos I normally do. Usually my videos are animated and kind of funny, but this one is super embarrassing and kind of sad. Yay! When I was 18, I graduated high school and started at a community college. I wanted my own show on Nickelodeon since I was a kid. I made up a show called Kate and Kid, and I wanted this more than anybody. All I wanted to do was make people happy with my cartoons. Nickelodeon made cartoons at their studio all the way in California, which was very far and expensive to get to. I knew if I wanted to work there, I had to save up money so I can afford to actually go. But the jobs I got were a lot of hours, plus college, I was way too tired to make cartoons at night. I needed an easier job. So I looked up what is the easiest, most effortless job in the entire world. And you want to know what came up? Lifeguarding pools. <clears throat> I became a lifeguard at a pool for old people. And yeah, it was easy. Most of the time they didn't even swim. They just sat in the chairs. So when no one was in the pool, I'd just work on my cartoons. But then the old people would be like, Oh, what are you drawing? Uh, cartoons. Oh. Oh, that's so nice back in my day and they wouldn't shut up so I couldn't really concentrate on my cartoons at work <laughs> that's when I discovered YouTube tube 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 it's an echo I'd bring my laptop with me and when the pool was clear I would just watch videos you know back in my day I couldn't hear a word she was saying I started watching videos by Shane Dawson and he was doing something cool called daily vlogs he would just film his whole life on camera. He had a huge following. I thought, how cool is that? I want a community of people. So I went home that day, got a camera, and started doing what Shane Dawson was doing. Vlogging. Hi, I'm Lauren L, and I'm trying to work at Nickelodeon Studios one day. Subscribe to watch me make my dreams come true. Oh my god. The cringe. So I created my very, very cringy little channel and it was called Yo X3 with eight O's. Why? Anyway, whatever. One day I came across Nickelodeon's Facebook page where they announced that they were offering an internship. They called it a Nickternship. Get it? No. The Nick Turnship was for college students at the studio in California. This was it. I can do this. So I applied and they emailed me back saying, thank you for applying. We will call you this month with our decision. <sighs> well, I didn't know when they were going to call me, but I knew my phone was going to ring one day this month. If I get this, I move to California. So I waited and waited and waited with my video camera. Thursday, April 28th, 2011. And Nickelodeon's gonna call me in five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna check out their Facebook. What are they doing? <gasps> what? <laughs> Nick Turnship interviews should be happening in the next two weeks. <laughs> Get Nickelodeon internship in California. Meet so many animation people. Write a pitch for Kate and Kid. Maybe Nickelodeon will call me today. Oh my god, I'm 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 getting nervous just thinking about this. Waiting this long is like t being tortured. Hey Ashley, this is Lauren Lorenzo. Um, I just had a question. Just wondering. Um, considering the fact that I haven't gotten a call, if that means you guys have done your final decision. Thanks so much, and I hope to speak to you soon. Have a great day. Bye. Why do I get so shaky and nervous for no reason? Like, she's not famous. Like, who cares? She's a young person like me. Like, why am I freaking out to talk to her? To ask her, imagine if the message was still going on. Oh my God. I'm just gonna wait and wait. 
And eventually I will get this internship because I'm not gonna stop applying until I do. That was very embarrassing. But that is part of my adulthood. I waited, I waited almost the entire month. My phone would not ring. My parents started to lose hope and my dad kept saying, you know, if you don't get it, it's not the end of the world or if you don't get it, there's always next time. No, no. Daddy, you clearly don't think I'm gonna get it. Thank you. Just be quiet, okay? You don't get it if you don't get it if you don't get it. All right. How about when I get it? When I get it? How about that? All right, I'm gonna move away from everything. I want to. I want to go upstairs. I was getting really angry with everyone around me because I was starting to lose hope too. But then my phone rings. This was it. The person on the other line. This could be them. Hello? Dinner's ready. Are you hungry? Warren? Nope. It was my mom. I made salad and I made honey carrots. All right, thank you. Love you, bye. Hello? 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 But a few days after that, they actually really did call me. And... It didn't go so well. I didn't get it. They called me and told me I was rejected. I've never had like a real legit rejection before. The second I give up, that's when it's over and I don't want it to be over. So I'm not gonna do that. I don't care what happens. I will never give up on it. After a nice long cry, I didn't give up. Instead, I decided to work really hard. I took another year to build my resume, had it get looked at by every single one of my teachers, practice phone interviews with my friends and family, research the types of questions they would ask me. I even reached out to people in the industry on LinkedIn. People I didn't even know, just messaged them for advice as politely as I could. It took so much of getting out of my comfort zone, but finally, I got it. So I transferred to an art college out there, packed my bags, moved across the country by myself. I even met an amazing guy along the way who happens to be my fiance now. Spoiler alert. Moved into a really nice apartment. Like everything was just going literally perfect. I got to Nickelodeon. The second you walk in there, there's a fountain of slime, a huge statue of SpongeBob himself. I met all the other Nick turns and everyone was super nice. We all sat down and everyone just started showing each other their art drawings. I was always like the best artist in my town. So I was getting out my Kate and Kit stuff. And as I was getting it out, I saw everyone else's stuff. When I saw their stuff, it was like Picasso. It was the most beautiful art I've ever seen. Everyone's talented here. I wasn't gonna show them my stuff anymore. Not when everyone else's looked like total masterpieces. I couldn't compete with this. Later on in the Nick internship, I started asking, how do you become a creator of your own show? And they would tell me, a lot of people start off as a storyboard artist. And then I looked at the storyboard artists here and Picasso, masterpieces again. Just beautiful stuff. Who was I kidding? <laughs> I can't make my own show. Look what I'm up against. What was I thinking? All of my dreams just started crashing down on me. I realized that this was gonna be a a lot harder than I thought. I got so stressed out and something kind of terrible happened. I started getting chronic headaches and I never get headaches. I went to the hospital. That's how bad these headaches were. Felt like someone was hammering my head. So the doctor finally comes back and, so doc, yeah, I'm fine, right? Just give me some medicine and I'll be on my way out of here, <laughs> right? And the doctor said, uh, you have a brain tumor. What? This was the biggest curveball of my entire life. <laughs> anyway, during my recovery of brain surgery, they just told me to lay in bed. So all I did was watch YouTube. All I did, YouTube saved my life during this recovery. I ended up falling in love with YouTube. I found a channel 
that had a million subscribers with stick figures. I realized some things. It's not about how good you can draw a hand. It's about personality. I don't need to be a storyboard artist. YouTube allows you to be a creator of your own show right now because it's not about the art. It's about the people. I didn't have to compare myself anymore. I was gonna put my stuff on the internet and the people could decide. And that's exactly what I did. Having Kate and Kit on Nickelodeon will always be one of my dreams. But right now, having the creative freedom that I have on this platform, that's what I've always ever wanted, to make people happy with my cartoons. And I'm not waiting around for any corporations to accept me. I'm doing it on my own time. And it feels good! Anyway, I graduated college, moved back home, ended up getting a job in New York City at Titmousing, which is one of the best in-house animation studios in the world. Learned everything there is to know about making and producing cartoons. And then I quit to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm finally making money from my views on YouTube now. All thanks to you guys watching my videos every time I post. Thank you. Comment if you stayed this long. Stay, I stayed till the end. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. See you soon.